The M2 Mac Minis are now here and I uh, picked one up. It just arrived not too long ago. I had a chance to test it out a little bit and I am extremely excited about this Mac Mini. Uh, my first time owning a Mac Mini and I wanna to talk to you about how this might be the computer you should be looking for. So I've been a Mac user for a long time. Really, uh, all the way back into high, into high school, I was using a Mac of some shape or form uh, as kind of my main computer. Now, that's not to say I didn't always have other computers because uh, one thing that is fairly widely known is if you are doing any sort of serious live streaming, Macs just don't cut it. Uh, and that's kind of been the way it's been for years now. But when we finally had that transition into Apple Silicon, that's when I first started to think that Max could start to hold up to the most extensive live streams out there uh, and can really produce some really great live streams and won't get necessarily bogged down like they used to uh, in previous Intel Macs. So up until just uh, this week, I was using a 2020 MacBook Pro um, it's worked really well. Uh, it wasn't the highest end of that computer. Um, probably could have specced it up a little bit more and gotten a little bit better performance out of it, but it worked really well. I was starting to finally start to slow it down uh, and I knew I wanted to make that jump into Apple Silicon. Uh, and it was just waiting for the right time and really for this machine uh, to come out, um, especially with the price on it. So I wanna talk to you just about this. So this is the Mac Mini. Um, this is the M2 Mac Mini. And this is not even the Pro version. This is just the regular M2. It is bumped up from um, the base model. Uh, I did bump it up a little bit, got some more memory uh, and got a little bit more storage. Uh, here are the exact specs that I got on this model. Um, but I wanted to bump it up just slightly while still keeping it at a pretty good price. Honestly, I was able to trade in my MacBook Pro. By doing that, I was able to get this really great machine for a pretty reasonable price. And the setup I'm gonna have is because I, the reason I went with this versus an actual laptop is, well, two reasons. One, I will be getting a laptop from work um, that I'll be able to use um, that's gonna be the new MacBook Pro. So you're gonna get a chance to see that as well. Um, I'll be able to compare the two, see, and hopefully give you a deeper dive once I get a chance to really use both these machines to do some streaming and to do some other work and give you an idea um, of maybe which is better for your situation. But I'm very excited about this one because I have this studio space out here where I can basically keep things set up and have a, a nice spot at my desk and can go and do this area to do some significant amount of work. Uh, when I need to create, crank out those videos, I can ha come here and kind of avoid any distractions and just crank out videos or I'm going to be able to run a lot of live streams. I'm really excited to start diving into those using Ecamm. Um, that's definitely the best software for live streaming here on the Mac. Um, and you can get a link to Ecamm by checking out the description below. But overall, I am just a day or two in on uh, this Mac M2 Mac Mini uh, and liking it so far, really enjoying it. Uh, I. I'm, I'm excited to be putting it through its paces here soon and really testing out with some, some in-depth videos uh, and some more challenging video editing, some live streaming, and to really push this thing to the, to the limit. I think that if you are someone who likes Max, who wants to get into doing more streaming, who wants a really great overall computer that you can have on your desk, have set up and ready to go, I would highly recommend checking out the Mac Minis, the new Mac Minis. The base model is extremely affordable, um, and even this model here is pretty pretty decent. Um, it's not so you get to the M2 Mac Mini, M2 Pro Mac Mini, that things might start to get a little bit more expensive where you're more on the lines of getting a laptop, but you're gonna have way more power than you would at the base model of the MacBook Pro. Oh, again, I'm gonna, be shortly getting here uh, a MacBook Pro, and I'll definitely be walking through th that one as well and give you a chance to kind of compare these two uh, and see what it's like. But I gotta say, this is an amazing machine and I am extremely excited to start using it. So let's get to work.
And one last piece before we wrap up here. If you are someone who's looking to live stream from a Mac, uh, highly recommend checking out Ecamm. You can go to nickpolkuski.com slash Ecamm uh, to check out that software. It's a really great pro switching program for, uh, for Macs and specifically Apple Focus. So I highly recommend checking that out. And if you wanna know how to get the most out of Ecamm, I do have a quick start guide that is available. Be sure to check the link in the description for that. And I'll see you on the other side.